He's armed with a search warrant looking for answers at the home of the Bridgewater State Daycare Center director. She's accused of telling staffers to keep quiet about the concerns of a student who is now charged with raping kids. Only New Center 5's Mary Saladna was there with police tonight, and she is live in Boylston. Mary? Yeah, and JC, it was clear this was a surprise visit, and detectives came with a mission. Police Department search warrant. When police descended on Judy Ritako's Boylston home, no one came to the door at first. Police department with a search warrant. So detectives surrounded the house. They eventually got the occupants' attention. I'm sorry, I thought it was a search warrant. Once inside, detectives could be seen in what appeared to be a home office. About an hour later, they emerged with computers and bags of other potential evidence. Investigators won't say what they're looking for, but it could be evidence to cement the claims of staffers at the Bridgewater State on-campus daycare. According to court documents, staffers told police that Director Judy Ritaka ignored their warnings about student worker Kyle Laughlin and told them not to contact outside agencies to keep it in-house. Ritaka has been suspended with pay from the daycare and from her teaching job at Quinsigamond Community College in Worcester. Meanwhile, 21-year-old Kyle Kyle Laughlin remains locked up, charged with raping two young boys. Police say he's confessed to the sexual touching. And yet, according to a police affidavit, when Ritako got a call from DCF investigators, police sitting in her office heard her tell them, I didn't feel it was a concern, and the child wasn't in any danger. She went on to say, I didn't know if I should speak to the student. News Center 5 now learning that on-campus daycare will be closed next week while security cameras are installed. Judy Ritako never did answer the door for us. Kyle Laughlin is being held until a dangerousness hearing, which has now been postponed till April 13th.